become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to pay tribute to an unknown silver era bodybuilder named John Rogers. As far as I know, there is very, very little information on this silver era bodybuilder and for this reason, I thought I would shed light on this forgotten bodybuilder. When I first encountered uh, photos of this bodybuilder in a recent magazine that I read, I couldn't help but feel impressed by his chest and arm development as shown here in this um, side chest pose, this classic side chest pose. And combined with his tiny waist, he truly exemplifies the typical classic era, um, self, yeah, the, the classic silver era physique that was so impressive um, back then. I mean, not only is the waist small, the, 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 uh, the arms are, are beautifully shaped and, and large, the chest is, 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 uh, is massive, but the rib cage expansion is prevalent. I mean, it's all there. The, the, the striations on on the delts, the veiny forearms. It's very masculine, very a very uh, classical physique from the silver era. And today, I'd like to present a little background on John Rogers, as well as the routine that led to this impressive physique. Enjoy. Now, according to the article I read, at 16 years of age, um, John Rogers was an aspiring actor. And only standing five foot five and 130 pounds, he wasn't very impressive. People said that basically when they turned him away for roles, that um, yeah, he, he just lacked some kind of a yeah, like a kind of pep, some kind of a energy was uh, not not there, and um, he wasn't very impressive in personality or in 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 his physique. And he was um, he knew that he had narrow shoulders and a shallow chest, and wasn't very well developed. And so he took to bodybuilding. So it is said in the article that when John Rogers was flicking through some magazines, he was incredibly impressed with the physiques of both Ed Terrio and Abe Goldberg. And I mean, wouldn't you be impressed just seeing these photos? I mean, look at Ed Terrio himself. He's five foot one and sporting 17 inch arms. I just want you to get that through your head at five foot one, 17 inch arms back then in the silver era. This guy was a veritable walking Hercules, and I've shown this photo in my Patreon account, but I had to share it. I mean, every time I see photos of Eterio and his improving development over the years, all the way from the early 1940s now to the 1950s, man, I mean, this guy was thick and muscular, real Herculean physique. And Abe Goldberg, I mean, that, again, I've shown this photo before, has got to be the greatest rib cage development I have ever seen. That is just impressive as it gets. The incredible development of the ribcage from Abe Goldberg. Probably as good or even better than the great Mike Katz in the 70s. So after being motivated uh, and seeing photos of Ed Terrio and Abe Goldberg, just like most silver era bodybuilders, he followed a full body routine, performing it three times a week uh, using progressive resistance as the main method. Uh, where he would have a target rate and rep range of 8 to 12 reps uh, using a given poundage initially perform 8 reps and over the weeks try and reach that 12 rep range and once he, once he achieved that 12 reps as a goal he would increase the weight and drop the reps again down to 8 reps and repeat try to basically uh, get to the 12 rep range again as a goal and then slowly but surely over the weeks and over the months he would increase his poundage and um, his routine consisted of compound power movements as is typical of the silver era full body routine which included the following exercises so he mentions that he used squats uh, vertical leg press which was very common in the day not seen nowadays in any gym really the vertical leg press uh, he would also perform heavy curls, heavy benching, shoulder presses, presses of all kinds really, um, rowing movements of all kinds, and of course like most silver era bodybuilders, he would combine his bodybuilding and power routine with uh, Olympic weightlifting, performing clean and jerks at low reps with many many sets. Very typical of a full body routine uh, of, of uh, silver era bodybuilders. And John Rogers, of course, after three years in the article states that he gained 50 pounds. Can you believe it? 50 pounds of muscle 
in three years. I mean, look at those wonderfully capped deltoids. They look fantastic. I mean, that's fantastic. Tiny waist uh, accentuates that V taper. He's got quite nice muscular arms, very well developed chest and, and uh, nicely shaped thighs and calves. Uh, a typical silver era bodybuilder for sure. Very classic physique, classic proportions. Here he is at 19 years of age after having put on 50 pounds of muscle. His chest at the time was 46 inches uh, and his arms had grown to 16 and a half inches. Very impressive for this young man, John Rogers. Now, if you'd like to learn more about silver era methods of gaining strength and muscle mass, I recommend that you check out Strength and Bulk Training for Weightlifters and Bodybuilders, written by Rich Park, available on my website, as well as How to Build Bigger Arms by Rich Park, both available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, this look at John Rogers, a forgotten silver era bodybuilder that I personally have never heard of. And I'll leave you with this great side chest pose again. This is the pose, this is the photo that actually really impressed me and, and inspired me to make this video. It's a typical side chest, a classical side chest pose from the silver era with that rib cage. That rib cage is just so majestic. It sets the stage. It almost is a wonderful stage for presenting that wonderful muscularity that they had back then. Those slabs of pec meat just sit on top, there's the cap deltoids, that arm is pressed and full next to that rib cage, and he just looks full of vitality and health and, and just to top it all off it's that tiny tiny waist. I love the side chest pose, the classic side chest pose of the silver era and John Rogers pulls it off so so well. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era book on leave me your comments and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal or become a patron. And you can visit my website www.goldenerabookworm.com for uh, old school bodybuilding courses and books for you to purchase. Anyway, that's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now. Hi everybody, I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still on equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day and again, highly recommend this book.